Okay, so here we are. This is the Dugal Formation that I've gleaned from geological maps. And this is a formal quarry. And as you can see, this is uh, not that fresh. It's actually quite eroded. A lot of plants on it. So today I'm at Rafi Park. This is in Doncaster. And this is a formal quarry. What type of quarry? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, considering it's just uh, siltstone with some sandstones. I'm going to say this is probably for garden. Right? Garden aggregate, something like that. Uh, they'd actually crush this stuff up and use it as a a capping layer for roads, so just to seal it off from uh, before foot putting rock and tar over top. So uh, there's not much information I can glean from this, but it is a really good formation. I don't see any fossils on the surface, so this should be turbidite type formation. It's blocky and. As you can see from the actual layering, if we pick this up, it seems like a sandy silt that does anyway. You can see here we have a, a massive formation on the top. Uh, it looks like it's got some layering in it, but it, because it's eroded, weathered, and it also has a lot of organisms on it's a bit hard to tell the base layer looks like we might have some conglomerates in the base layer uh, that's just based on here and down below we have a, a silt stone obviously this is a lot easier to erode it is has laminations on it uh, so you can see the different four uh, so these will be years or probably just depositional cycles because uh, one depositional cycle might be one year or might be over two or three years or even they might skip and down below that we have a pretty uh indurinated type structure so that's quite hard then underneath we have a, a softer siltstone and below that we also have a, a harder structure which is uh, looks pretty laminate cross probably cross bedded as well but unless i actually broke it off it's hard to tell and it's been heavily iron oxidized so that is just probably the water leaching out iron oxide and precipitating it on the surface that evaporates and it is a you know, sandy siltstone so that's what we have here and if we go across, you can see that the formation does change a bit as we go across. So this stuff here is just a process of weathering. So it actually does protect it in the longer term because it's harder to erode. And here we have, yeah, there's definitely silt. Don't feel like there's much sand in that. And you can see the how the roots are actually breaking the rock formation apart. So. Once upon a time, this was probably uh, the actual s in the formation, but it's been uh, removed. And once again, you can see the actual uh, lamination formation. Oh, so the time period. So this is Silurian, about 440 to 420 million years ago, roughly around about that time period. Uh, that's not exact these time periods do change so and this is turbidite so this is uh, a marine formation now I don't see any fossils in it but if there were fossils in this formation uh, you'd actually get a lot of trilobites it's a lot of disarticulated trilobites it probably as the trilobites grow and shed their skeleton Actually, uh, well, the skeleton would just be discarded and the trilobite would go on its life path. Uh, you can probably get some uh, echinoids. You rarely get any starfish. They're the probably most, most common. Now, I don't see bryzoans. I don't see edgy asteroids or anything like that. 
So obviously this is space in life. Oh look, black, black. Like Lord Vader. Anyway, whatever fossils, you'll probably get the gastropod here or there, but they're not too common. So the most common fossils you're really going to get in this is trilobites. And I find that quite interesting. So, if we look at a rock, you can see this is weathered on the surface top five millimeters so this is pretty much the original and I oh know that no, that's worth it as well the original is here and it looks like it might have crystal structure so it might have been metamorphosed probably low grade from a baffolith and you also got the floor so the floor's been heavily tramped on so you definitely Need to break it open and actually find any more fossils. And that's about it. It's not really much else other information I could glean from this site. It's just a very interesting place to visit. And as you can see, this is highly weathered, it's pretty much soil. And as you can see, you've got fractures that have been precipitated with uh, looks like iron oxide. So, these are would weather last. And this siltstone weather quite, I don't know, feels like a bit sandy there. Yeah, sandstone, that's a, that's a sandy siltstone. And it grades into it, looks like a siltstone. Yeah. So, it looks like a sandy siltstone. I think the top of this formation is just siltstone and the sandstone. So, we have different energy environments as well. So we've got high energy down the bottom, and obviously this is massive. So over the depositional cycle, which was continuous, the energy's got a lot less, and so the silt is deposited somewhere else, and no, sand was deposited somewhere else, and all that was left was silt and clay. And the clay was probably taken somewhere else because it needs less uh, energy, which we have uh, just silt. And then in the next cycle, which uh, starts here, obviously it is also a higher energy environment. So they actually had uh, sands here. And so sands were brought down. And the energy stopped here. So then it just deposited the sands. And up the top, it's hard to tell what it is. It's all pretty much turned into soil. Got a lot of organics. Pretty much just a silty type soil. So that's very interesting. So that's all I can get from this site. Sorry, I can't give you any more information, but no, just come out Rafferty Park. It's actually quite a beautiful place to go.